Greetings from Suzhou, China, a city steeped in history. It was built in 514 BC, and its 2,500 years of history is marked throughout this beautiful city with ancient structures and memorials. In contrast, the home of the Total Energy's BWF Sudermann Cup Finals 2023 is the ultra-modern Suzhou Olympic Sports Center that you see on your screens. We're coming to you from the indoor arena here as part of the Suzhou Olympic Sports Center and it is indeed day four of the action. We're almost at the end of the group stages, the penultimate round of matches that are left to be played and that will finish tomorrow, that's day five, and then day six is quarterfinals, day seven semifinals, and day eight is the grand final. That's on Sunday. Here on court two, we're going to focus on an all-European affair very, very shortly. But just a reminder that in Group C earlier today, India beat Australia in a dead rubber. India recording their first victory of the tournament this year. And, uh, well, on uh, Group D action coming up on court two, it's also a dead rubber because France and England have been knocked out by Japan and Korea who qualify after two matches played. And this is a battle for pride. France, a two-time silver medalist at the European Team Mixed Champions this year and last edition, uh, led by the world number six pair of Tom Jiquel and Delphine Delroux, a multi-faceted, multi-talented squad from Team France will take on Team England for the very first time. Enthusiastic Team France will take on Team England for the very first time at the Sudeman Cup in the main draw, that is. And, uh, well, Team England know plenty about being and playing at this stage of the finals of the mixed team championships uh, they'll be led of course by olympic bronze medalist from 2016 marcus ellis and his partner lauren smith in the mixed doubles tie and also they have that top 20 pair in ben lane and sean bendy team england and team france battling for pride tonight in their first ever Sudaman Cup Finals meeting. Tom Jagel, Delphine Del Rue, as I mentioned, world number six, taking on Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith in a favorite rivalry as far as European badminton is concerned. That will follow the men's singles action, and Toma Junior Popov will have his go in this discipline as he takes on Sholan Kayan. And we'll have women's singles to follow. Chi Shua Fei going up against Freya Redfern, the youngster from England, men's doubles, and Lucas Kove and Roland Labar go up against the top 20 pairing of Ben Lane and Sean Bailey. And to conclude proceedings, it is the women's doubles and another rivalry that has seen the international stage on numerous occasions. Margot Lambert and Tran going up against Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith. That's the lineup for the matches here on court two. It's about to get underway very, very shortly. And uh, the other match in uh, Group D, which is a battle for the top spot between uh, Japan and Korea, which is also taking place simultaneously. That's on court one. But we are focused on the all European affair. First ever meeting, as I mentioned, in the Sudaman Cup finals main draw with France making their main draw debut this year, having been absent from the last edition. Tom Jiquel, Delphine Del Rue, who was superb against Japan's Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino, will be looking to continue their magnificent form into this match as they lead Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith onto the court. France have played like England in this tournament since its inception, but never in group one or the main draw. In the previous five appearances of the Sudaman Cup, they featured in Group 2. England, on the other hand, have been Group 1 fixtures for most of the tournament's history. Relegated to Group 2 only twice since 1989, and was 991 and 1997.
7. Now, this match sees Ellis Smith and Jigel de Roux meet for the fifth time in their last four meetings. It's been Ellis and Smith who've succeeded. The last meeting was way back in uh, 2021 at the Tokyo Olympics group stage that Ellis and Smith won 21-18, 21-17. Before that, they met at the European Games in 2019 at the semi-final stage. England won that too, 21-19, 21-12. 2018 saw them meet twice, once at the Sarlor Lux Open in the round of 16, which England won 14, 21, 21, 18, 21, 16, and then at the Dutch Open final, that England won 21, 15, 21, 15. So on paper, this tie favors the English, but recent form may suggest otherwise. Delphine Doru on your screens there, she's 24 years of age from Sarcelle, France, ranked number sixth in the world with her partner Tom Jiquel. The highest ranking has been number five and that was in January of 2023. Right-handed partnership as all these players are right-handed. Tom Jiquel there, also 24 years of age at 186 centimeters tall from Tours, France. And these two have a win-loss record of 13 to 6 this year. Their best performance of 2023 was reaching the semi-finals of the Indonesia Masters. They also have three quarter-final finishes this season already. The Malaysia Open, the India Open and the German Open. And that's what I mean by recent form because in comparison, Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith haven't had the best 2023. Lauren Smith now 31 years of age from Carlisle, England ranked 73rd in the world. They've gone up as high as seven, top 10 pair, back in Jan 2018. So there is plenty of quality on display here in court two. Marcus Ellis, her partner, now 33 years of age, the right-handed player also from Huddersfield, England. And uh, these two have had a win-loss of two to four in 2023. And it's not been the best start to the season. All first round exits in the tournaments played so far. But Ellis and Smith do boast four HSBC BWF World Tour titles. And uh, also silver medalists last year at the Commonwealth Games. There is the England coaching setup. We'll be looking certainly to make an impression here. They lost 5-0 to Japan and 4-1 to Korea in the previous two rounds. As we see the umpire for this match is Lao Chen Lia, Malaysia. She's joined in the service judge chair by Bert Van Horbeek of Belgium. France too had a uh, uh, fairly big losses in the previous two rounds 4-1 to Japan and 4-1 to Korea so as far as standings are concerned they're ahead of England because of those results they've had more games for them than England had as we get ready to get this match underway after a quick Two minute warm up. Last time that England and France met in a mixed team championships was in 2021 at the European Mixed Team Championships, and France won that 4 1. If the history is anything to go by. On my right, England. Dolphin Daru will serve to get this to mixed doubles clash underway. Oh. It's been long. 
Allison yeah. Smith certainly have a point to prove. They've suffered two defeats in this tournament already. Looking for that first victory. And won't it be made sweeter if they can beat the greatest European rivals, or one of the greatest European rivals at the moment? Defending by Smith, but in the end, Delphine Doru persists with her attack at the net. Marcus Sellers being the victim of that. Just look at how these two have been crucial to France's success at a team level. That silver medal finish in the European Championships, mixed team championships that is this year as well as last edition in 21. Beautiful. Both these pairs on high alert, complete focus, but right now it's the variety of shot making from the French that's the difference, slower drop shots from Jiguel at the back court. It's gone long. Just out. Must be also brimming with confidence after that win over Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino. Wall number two. Jiguel and Dolru. Oh, brilliant. Track back to get height on that smash. Excellent start by the French pair. Really starting to show their attacking prowess, and the conditions certainly suit. Players who can attack well. It's landed just out. It's the right idea. from the French see it on the backhand of Lauren Smith in that final shot she tried to kill it off but misjudged the length four nil head to head Ella Smith have but this could be the moment that the French look to turn it around In a while since these two pairs have played they did not meet at this year's european mixed team championship they were in different groups and were drawn in the knockouts different nations england losing to denmark in the semi-finals after progressing their group as france yes, yes. came through and the other so far. 
from wide. It's going to be, it's likely going to be fought a lot at the net. Both these women extremely talented on the front court. I feel like that's where the battle is going to be won or lost. lift from Ellis gets punished by Del Rue. Really exciting to watch. They did have a similar plan against Higashino, Watanabe and Higashino in the last game, but it was also their persistence that they had to through 10 game point opportunities in the first game it's unheard of so but they persisted and that's six, what's been eight. a standout quality of Jaquel and Daru eight six Way too steep, maybe. Seven. Found the eight. net instead. And just like that, the English are caught up. Experience. Full display. Not getting rattled at all. Trying to go for the flatter forehand and crouch down a little bit. Marcus Ellis came forward. moment oh superb how good was that excellent drop shot Nine. from Ellis completely changed the pace on that occasion even though Jaquel got a racket on it a little too late 24 shot that rally the net. Look at that. They're putting pressure on Ellis on that occasion. 10-8. touches and clinches the point makes it a one point game at the moment smart 
play. It's gone just long. It was the right idea, but it's gone long. Ellison Smith did so well to move the French around, but in the end, the error of Smith's forehand costs them the point, and it is Jiquel and Del Rue who edged their opponents 11-9 at the break. 11 minutes played. We need to be a little bit quicker on these little exchanges when we're getting these little dinks and we've got, they want us to try to be a little bit earlier so we have to get shuttled down first so when it comes up to us, not allowing him to then go towards us. 20 seconds, 42, 20 seconds. You see him coming then, he's going to get out to the opposite corner, Manus, yeah? But definitely be a little bit faster in these little exchanges, these little dinks. Players back on court to restart the first game, and uh, this has been eleven nine. An exciting start Play. to the mixed doubles, which is what was expected. It's too close to call at the moment. Absolutely kill that off. So it's over 10 11. Put it away. As fast as she could. Apologize to Daru, of course, as the shuttle got her leg. So it's always good to see the sportsmanship. In this case, the sportswoman. Womanship. Marcus Ellis finding the space in the front court did hit the tape. Level scores having trailed for most of that first game. First half, that is. They've leveled it and they've taken the lead now. And we're seeing a change in momentum. Just a light jump in. Kills off the point. Miss Med in the past four meetings have won three in straight games. Only one match went the distance. And again, wide open space to conquer for Lawrence Met. lead for the English now. Great return. Absolutely pounced on that. Look at that. Full on. Forcing Lauren to respond or intercept early. can do the French can also do see the one to play this time from Jiquel and Delru Possible to return. Hey. Hey. It's gone wide. She tried it again, Jaquel, but so it's over. Oh. 14. Well wide. Oh. 14 more.
unlike the previous flick serve that Ellison Smith couldn't get hold of. Jigel kind of read it really well. An immediate response. Controlling the net. Delphine Daru. On the move. This gets the flat forehand across. Alt. It's a fall. So we saw 15. I'm not happy with that. <laughs> Gotta let it go. Smart play by England. 16-4. Well, Jiquel and Daru seem to be going for the shot. Which led to the English winner. 16-0. Oh. Oh. That's amazing. From Jaquel, not just in terms of 17, the pace 16. on his shot, but the fact that he spotted the spot, spotted the empty area on the court so quickly. Oh. Long. And so France restore the two point lead, and 16. now just three away from taking the first game. They just about stayed ahead in this first game. It was just one instance where England took the lead. And since then, the French have Lauren. reclaimed the lead. Lauren Smith straight away anticipated the return really well. Seventeen eighteen. We expected this to be a close one, oh. and it has lived up to that so far what a time to make that error Marcus Ellis knows it as well two away from clinching this first game on that occasion he's ready but rushed into that shot oh. two game points oh. and again I'm not sure what's going through her it must be a little bit of nerves that she needs to settle Two game points have come and gone. One more left. Hey. 2019. Hey. Lauren Smith will serve. Do it, they 
saved three game points, Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith. In fantastic fashion. Talk about nerves of steel. They have survived a dangerous period. Feel the tension. Has gone wide. And so a fourth game point so opportunity for Jiquel and Del Rue. 20. Yes. Marcus Ellis makes the mistake oh. off the backhand. Play. Will they do it now? They've squandered three. They do it. A great serve by Tom Jaquel. And they secure the first game. Just about. Nice serve, keeping it low. Marcus Ellis struggling to return. 22 20 in the first game to Jaquel and Aru. 22 minutes played. lengthy chat with their coach had them almost Just managed to save three game points but fell short in the end 20 Second 22 game. in the first game local and it's Tom Jaquel and Delphine Del Rue who have the advantage from the change oh. of ends oh. Del Rue will serve to get the second game started Changes at the net and Del Rue finds the space to put the shuttle away to love. Well, they had made the brighter start in the first game as well, the French, but the English caught up. Brilliant. Marcus Ellis doing the hard One, work two. from the backcourt. Gets the angle on that right between the legs of Jiquel. <laughs> who 
tried his best. But it was an impossible shot to return. Oh. Service error. Service over. And Three, Smith. One. So the one time that this uh, tie went to three was at the Salo Lux Open in 2018, in the round of 16. And at that time, Jekyll and Delru won the first Four. game, 21-14, but one. then Ellison Smith came back, 21-18, 21-16. The question is, can they do it here? It's been a long time since that match. And one thing's for sure, Jekyll and Delru have come leaps and bounds ahead since. One would say that they're probably at the peak of their careers at the moment. Play. Peak of their powers. Hey. 2022 European Championship silver in the mixed doubles as well for Jekyll and Delru. It has been Five. so far. One. A stronger net game. Look at that. Delru. The tight net shot. Just the start they would have wanted. So downward smash from Ellis. Two, five. Impregnable in many ways. Oh. Yes, yes. Two balls to cover the court. Great net shot. A terrific rally. Jekyll and Delru who come out on top. So That's so such well. an explosive rally Ooh. that was. Everything in it. 32 shots that one. Four point lead. backcourt when she smashes it hard she can generate a lot of power and while Jekyll could respond Daru came undone she's got to be also thinking about the Thank fact you. that the women's doubles match at the end that she's got to play in I wonder how much that comes into mind. Yeah. Conserving energy, etc. Three six. Good serve. Seven, so well. Bang on the line, but seven three. No way. That uh Tom Jacquel was not putting it away. Seven dollar four seven. Three point game. It's a 
long rally. No one's letting up. Great defending by the French. They withstood everything that came their way. It's England who was attacking mostly through that rally. And in the end, an error. The French, the point. 39 shots, that one. Yeah, got longer than the previous exchange. Yeah, they just kept putting the shuttle back in play in that one. Lovely placement from Ellis and Smith. Specifically from Smith going cross net. Three point lead still for Jekyll and Rue. on the backhand first one did go over second shot and it's short she is tremendous at the net Lauren Smith really turns it on absolutely Excellent thinking. Put it away fairly easily. Well left. Frustration. For Lawrence so Smith. Six. Four point lead restored for. Jekyll and Del Rue. Jekyll immediately challenges the call, but it was really good movement by the English pair. They covered each other extremely well. Ten six. deliver the judgment yep in just in that's Great millimeters in. in and it was a right call by Tom Jekyll you can see Delphine Doru is happy about that so the French lead 11-6 at the mid-game break smart challenge by Tom Jekyll and uh, they'll be in a comfortable position with a five-point lead
We're ready to resume the second game. Allison Smith need to start making the moves now. We're a game down. It's six eleven down. Eleven six. It's now or never really for the English pair. Service error. Service over. Seven eleven. Just calming themselves down. We focusing. Got a cushion here. Good serve. Defending by Jaquel. Excellent. Excellent work so by Jaquel and Del Rue. They anticipated the shots really well. First, Alice going for the slower drop shots, which was returned. And then when he tried the faster smash, Del Rue put it away on the far end of the court. This time his smashed work. Well. So right down the middle. Four point lead for Jiquel and Del Rue still. No change. No change. Not allowing them to change it. Right down the middle. Look at that smash. Makes the jump. Really gets behind it. We saw the English start to mount pressure in the second half of the first game as well. Try and rattle their opponents. That one there, who steps back to take the shot, gets the steep angle on it. Four point lead. 13 9. And just like that, they change the momentum again. Just when you thought that England were making some headway after the break. France uh, turning things around. Defense. Straight on her body. On the backhand, she couldn't 14. respond at all. Marcus Ellis again, out muscling his opponents at the moment. Fourteen ten. France still in a comfortable position. Too early. Eleven. From Jagel. Fourteen. Plan. 12, 14. Move the shuttle around really well in that point. 
giving their opponents a run from left to right. Went with the big shots, mixed it up well. And paid off. He gave it away just as easily, 14, unfortunately. 15. Worked so hard to get ahead, and then service error gives a cheap point away. Two point game. Doing well here. So out. Go. Service over. Tit for tat. Service error from Go. Marcus Ellis there. That will certainly give them some breathing room. Jekyll and Delru. to make a mistake at the net. She's been so strong all this while. I haven't seen many of those. Sixteen fourteen. Looking for their first win what? over Ellison Smith. I'm sure that's playing on their minds a little bit. was for the taking so really so loose well. lift Seven super eight. high Four, and Tom Jaquel made no mistake Seventeen, fourteen. Four away from victory at Tom Jaquel and Delphine Del Rue sure Chance. Who's your kill? Hot. Super attack. Puts it away easily, Marcus Ellis. He had some struggles of late, but seems to be on his game today. <laughs> that was a fantastic 16, build up to the point. 17. Really well thought out by Ellison Smith. It's clever, clever play. Left scrambling, Jacqueline and Delru. Smith getting pushed further and further so back. 18. Jaquel and Oru deciding to target her. Two point lead, three away from a win. It's been a good effort by Ellison Smith since the break. It's been 
so close. Seen errors from both pairs at times. Some moments of brilliance for sure. Just there, she was looking for the flatter forehand. Delru makes a mistake at the net. time who rushed in 19, wanting to close out that point take nothing away from Delru though she was absolutely solid in defense 1917 Brilliant. Sounds How good over. is this? 18. 19. Lauren Smith using the open Lawrence court to her Smith. advantage. Not letting this one go easily. One point game. who has been strong from the backcourt all throughout this match delivers another blow as they level the score 19 all it was really tight in the first game remember Ellison Smith saved three game points before Jekyll and Delru edged them and we seem to be in similar situation once more so little separating the two Serve. Ooh, took that late. This is tense. And they kill it off. A decisive blow from Tom Jekyll in an absolutely nerve-wracking rally. Point, Game match point opportunity here for Jekyll and Daru, 2019. Just the one. Are we gonna see the extended game here? Can Ellison Smith Save one more. Oi. Daru will serve. Match point. Oi. And they do it all the first time I'm asking. A brilliant low Thank serve you. from Delphine Daru sets things up. And Tom Jekyll, Delphine Delroux secured their first ever win over Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith in superb fashion. An enticing mixed doubles match. That was match won by France, so close right till the end. Brave 19. effort from Ellis and Smith as well. But it is Delphine and Del Delphine Delroux and her partner Tom Jekyll, who come through 20 to 20, 21 19 in 50 minutes. Setting up France really well in this 
group D tie. They've given them the lead, 1 0. Done their part. Really thrilled with that result. They held on for dear life and showed great resolve. Paid off in the end. Coming up next, it's the men's singles matchup between Toma Junior Popov and Sholan Kayan. An opportunity for France, the high ranked Frenchman, to put them 2 0 ahead. That's what's coming up here on court two. Watching the live coverage of the Total Energies BWF Sudiman Cup Finals 2023. Coming to you from the Studio Olympic Sports Center. As you can see on your screens in front of you, the indoor arena. It's court two action that we're underway here with the Group D clash between France and England. France going ahead with a win in the mixed doubles. And now it's time for the men's singles with Toma Jr. Popov, the world number 27, taking on the young 20-year-old Cholan Kayan. As we wait for the players to get on the court, this is, of course, a big difference in their rankings between these two players, but an opportunity for England to show off their next generation of players. England who have been in the group stages consistently in this tournament, barring twice when they played in group two. The best finish in the tournament was in 2007 where they reached the semi-finals, exiting at the hands of Indonesia 2-3. Got the bronze medal there. That was the only time they featured in the knockout stages it's the same this year both these nations have ended their campaigns in the group stages this is the final round of matches in group d as we see toma junior popov and sholan kayan get on court and what will be their first ever meeting So the toss of the coin that Kayan won. He's chosen to receive. And uh, Popov has chosen the near end of the court. The same. England and France both out after losses to Japan and Korea in this group. England nine times. European mixed team champion, but in recent years have been bested by the French. There he is, Toma Junior Popov, who's been crucial in this French team's excellent performance at the European mixed team championships. 24 years of age, born in Bulgaria, but now, of course, calls France his home. 196 centimeters tall, world number 
27. It's reached as high as 21. That was back in November of 2022. His opponent today has a long way to go. Just 20 years of age from Manchester, England. Ranked 234 in the world. He's slowly making his way up the ranks. Highest has been 212, which was in January this year. Has a win-loss record of 5-4. He's not made it past the qualifying stages in any of the three International Challenger Series events he's played, in the last three that he's played. He did make it to the main draw at the Estonian International, but exited in the first round. You think about it, he was playing on the junior circuit till 2021. So he's still a young and upcoming player. There is Fernando Rivas, the coach of Carolina Marin, who also consults with Team France. An English setup. We'll be hoping that Cholan Kayan can do something here. It's a good run to play against a top 30 player. Good experience for Kayan for taking on someone like Thomas Junior Popov, who's had a win-loss record of 7-8 to eight this season. Best performance was getting to the semi-finals of the Spain Masters this year, losing to Kenta Nishimoto in three. He's got four HSBC BWF World Tour titles, one Super 300, one, of course, sup three Super 100 titles. We saw the official there from Botswana. The umpire is Emmanuel Gabo Sile, and he is joined in the service judges chair by Korea's Kang Sun Yong. Who are your officials? He was mentioning Toma Juni Papa, instrumental in France's silver, the mixed team championships, not just this year but also in 2021. He was also part of the men's teams championship earning France silver in 2016, bronze in 2018 and 2020. He's won the bronze Ladies in the European gentlemen. Championships individual right, event in 2022, men's singles. France represented by Thomas Junior Popov. So plenty of experience, and on my left, plenty of... England represented by Cholen Kayan. France to serve. Pedigree. Laval. His play. Popov will serve to Kayan to get this match underway. Oh. And France have opted One love. for three different singles players through the three group stages. Christo Popa played the first round of matches for France, then Alex Lanier Featured against Japan. And now we see Toma Junior pop up against England. It's a Same solid season. smash. One. All. Look at. England and their matches against Japan. A youngster named Two, Nadim one. Dalvi who featured against Kanta Sunayama and similarly against Korea. They also played Cholan Kayan there. So this is his second match of the tournament. He lost Kayan to Jeon Hyuk Jin, 21-13, 21-6 in that match. And trails now to pop off by two. with his opponent Kayan. It's 
big smash. He wow. bought his time wow. there, Popov. Give himself enough space to put the shuttle away, but earlier on, earlier on in that rally when Kayan had an opportunity, he should have used it when Popov had his back turned to him. Trying to make the return. Four one. Just Four. not enough height on that one for pop off there gives Kayan some relief. was going out. I lift. The time cross court smash didn't go according to plan and Kayan was ready. Just nudged the shuttle using that pace. Couldn't get it over. Service over. Six, three. Oh, Shouldn't he slip there? Couldn't get to the shuttle. Six. Service over. Four. Six. Wow. That's a much better return from Kayan. It was Popov who makes the error. He's trying his best to keep pace with his much higher ranked opponent here, Cholan Kayan. And really, that's all he needs to do in these very early stages of the first game. Lower shot. Ah, lovely drop shot. Makes it look so easy. Just there, nudges the shuttle in the front court. Kayan has to really stretch out. Four point lead now. Just to wipe the floor. It's a little bit slippery for Kayan. We saw him lose his footing earlier on. It's a 
nice shot. Four, nine, four. He's a tall fella. That doesn't have to stretch too high to get the angles right at the feet of his opponent. He's landed out. He's well judged by Kayan. He's thinking about hitting it back, but. Rally, a big hit Six, nine. to seal the point. Kayan out muscling his opponent on that occasion. Tom Popov. Showing that he too can do the same. He's cracking back slightly. Ten six. That's funny. In, in touch the outside line. And so 11-6, Toma Jr. Popov leads at the mid-game interval. Five points ahead after putting away the shuffle with ease. He's put himself in a good position. Nine minutes played. Pretty calm, doesn't he? Toma Jr. Popov. Level six. Play. Seems to be going his way at the moment. Five point lead in the first. It's a nice smash. Right down the line. Service over. Seven, eleven. Well hit. He would have challenged that. <laughs> that time, the error of the Frenchman's one. racket landed out. Still a four point lead. Wide open space for Popov to put away. Loose backhand. Nothing in it really. From Kayan. Drop shot. Doing the damage there. Even if Kayan got to it. Turn was well wide. Come long as well. You just gotta 
Kayan. Be a little careful here, Kayan. He did well in that first half to stay within touching distance, and now suddenly Popov is establishing control. Just as I say that. Well. Nine, fifteen. Six-point game. It's called out. He challenges it. Challenges called out. It was called out by the line judge. It's the right decision from the official. It is indeed out. One so, Kayan gets into the double digits. 10-15. Save. <laughs> I was lucky. This is a good rally. And it was tremendous 11, pressure from Kayan there. And you can see the irritation from Popov. He's being made to work hard at the moment. It's not been easy going for him. Chalan Kayan has made him work. Then he so turns well. up with a shot Six like ten. that. Yep. To put everything back in order. Order is restored. 16-11. Oh. That's gone wide. He has to keep a check on those errors, Chola and Kayan. Get out of hand, otherwise, the gap between the two. Right now, even Popov is prone to a few errors. Kayan should be trying to capitalize on that. That's a really loose lift. Not get anything on it. Just went way too high. Pop up got under the shuttle. Easy to put away. Lovely return. Flick of the wrist. Beautifully placed. Toma Junior Popov has once again taken charge here. Not that time. Radical cross net. Maybe took the shuttle too late wasn't able to generate the kind of height needed. That's good rally. High lift. It's gone long. Oh no, it's called in. Sorry, my apologies. It's landed on the line. Yep, on the line. And so that sets up game point opportunities galore for Toma Junior Popov. Good defending. And it okay. was on a defensive shot that he sealed the first game, 21-13.
good run in the end from the Frenchman. And five of the last seven points to ensure victory was his. 21-13 in 17 minutes. Put two, ten seconds. Put two, ten seconds. So we're about to start the second game in this men's singles matchup between France and England. 24-year-old Toma Junior Popov having taken the first 21-13. We look to close it out in two against Cholan Kayan, a 20-year-old from Manchester. Change events. Flat forehand at the One. net. Love. Well played from the French player. That's just wide. Looked up straight away, knowing the error was made. Pop off. And for the faster backhand. It's a good rally. In the end, two, one. it pays off for Cholan Kayan just constantly just on the defense. But he played the shuttle back insistently. <laughs> and it's a sigh of relief. to get ahead of his opponent, take control a little bit. Then strong smash from the back court. Saves the day for Popov. with that the world number 234 one point game it's 
tried to get Kayan to come forward with the next shot. Pop off there. And the Englishman just couldn't respond. Got it over the tape. Just about. That's nicely played. This is a Bye. good turn around by Cholan Kayan. Slower shot to set up the smash. No real answer to that. is really Deep. creeping into his game at the moment. I wonder what it could be that he's struggling with. Toma Junior Popov. That time. He put it away with great intent. Had enough of all that was going on. Even on the response. Would not let it go, came charging forward. up at the moment of the Frenchman's racket knowing look as well from him sticks to the smashes from the back court to get him out of trouble cross court that time Seven. And again, Five. same tactic he used a couple of points ago. Loose lift. Even though the first smash is saved, it opens up the court for Popov to. Kill off the point. Let's close the gap to two. It's gone long. Six, seven. He has risen from his slumber. Toma Junior Popov has started off this game a little bit sluggish. That was better from Kaya. He came charging forward as well. Trying to put the shuttle away. Pounced on it. That's in. Pop of his challenge, the call. It's called in. Look at his record this year. It is in. It was a right call by the line judge. Toma Junior Popov, as I mentioned, got to the semi finals of the Spain Masters. 
between the likes of Lin Chuni and Priyanshu Rajawat and Magnus Johansson on route, the young, younger generation of players that are coming up the rank. For Nishimoto, against Nishimoto, he fell short. He pushed Nishimoto to three. He fell short in the end. It's 21 23 in the third for Popov. So he's certainly trying to make his mark on the world tour notching up some big wins for himself so against someone like Kayan Cholan one would think that it's one-sided on paper but Cholan has brought the game to him especially here in the second one defense again that's why did well to Never leave it. And he takes the lead at the mid-game break. Cholan Kayan, 11-6 in a turnaround from that first game. Five-point lead here for the 20-year-old Englishman. 11 minutes played in the second game. Senior certainly had plenty to say Seven in that six. break to his Play. son. It's part of the coaching setup, of course, for France. Both his sons playing the sport. Oh, brilliant. So good from wow. Cholan Kayan there. Six did everything right score drop shot stretching his opponent completely taking him by surprise six point lead Lovely net shot. It's all going the Englishman's way. Six. Cross net with that. He's now won seven in a row. Cholan Kayan. Fantastic turnaround. to the net on that occasion Seven, and he's not made too many mistakes in this game so far it's still a six point lead for the 20 year old it's not 14, it's uncharacteristic seven. the number of errors that Popov is making at the moment. He's just not found his footing yet in this second game. So dominant towards the end of the first. Down the line smash will certainly help restore some faith. Defended by the Englishman. 
lands Nine. just in. How good was that shot? Right into the edge. Nine fourteen. Making some headway here, the Frenchman. Two shots in a, two points in a row. Three of the last four. We left it. That was a good choice. It's called Nine. out. Straight at his opponent. Look at that. Drove the shuttle straight. Turned it on. Cholankayan. Look at that. It's a gentle twist of the racket to get the angle. 10 16. Or should I say 16 10? To the Englishman. Who have seen that coming? Slowly but surely building in his favor the second game. If anybody can turn this around, it would be Thomas Jr. Popo. A little bit lackluster in the second game. It's very different from what he was doing in the first much more error strewn take the time to get going Defended by Kayan. High lift. Solid defending. Good rally. That's beautiful. He absolutely played the patient yeah. game. Just in the last two shots turning. His defense into attack finds the line. 18 10. Eight points ahead. Three away from pushing this to a decider. with the drop shot. He's not putting a wrong foot at the moment. Everything's right. He's playing very patiently. Seeing through the attacks from Popov. This one. Four points in a row, seven of the last eight. Very good work. Yeah. 
That was for the taking. Sets up multiple game point opportunities for Cholan Kayan. Giving England hope. Against an opponent who's more than 200 spaces above him in the world ranking. Nine more to go. Good movement by Kayan to keep the shot in play, but trademark smash off the pop of racket saves another game point eight game point opportunities for Kayan it's gone wide Oh, he's got to be careful now. 15, 20. He's lost three. Doesn't want to give away that mental edge he has at the moment. point opportunities four have been saved by Toma Junior Popov who seems to have suddenly awoken just one more required to push this to a decider for Kayan Well, he does it on the fifth time of asking Cholan Kayan takes the game the second one to push this to a decider again being patient with his shot making and the error coming off the backhand of Popov means we're going into a third in this men's singles match 40 minutes gone and it's one game apiece Players back on court as we go into a third 
here in the men's singles Balanjee. matchup between France Number and England. Chol and Kayan outstanding in the second game. Took it 21-14. Serves to get this third started. Ah, brilliant. He's found a spring in his step, Kayan. See the interval. Coaches didn't have much to say to him because he hadn't put a foot wrong in that second game. Not really. It was more about Popov having to figure out why he was making so many mistakes. It's gone out. To love. To love. Once more. Misjudging the length there. That's wide. Service over. One, two. two. What a mighty win this would be if Cholan Kayan can get one here. Certainly showed plenty of promise. Ah. A little too two. eager. Oh. Same spot Three. in the previous Two. point. It didn't work out. It hasn't worked out a second time either. It's very high left. I get a feeling there's no sting in his smashes. Pop up. The tall player is getting a lot of high lifts, but he's not being able to put them away. He's just not being able to use his strengths that we normally see him go to quite easily. And that's his smashes. Ha <laughs> ha! Talk about smashes. Four, that one was quick as lightning. players this third game desperately looking for the win both of them and test their nerves going to test their ability let's see neither one a pushover Oi. it's called in five four oh. exchanging hands with every point What he's so good at. Six, That's four. the smash we were looking for. Two point lead now. Really high lift again, but this time Papa really gets the angle as well. And again. He's challenging it. Called in. Just coming at a really fast pace. Kayan has chosen to challenge. I think he looked towards his coaching setup, wondering whether he should. And it was the right thing to do because it is out. Correction, out. A successful Service challenge for five, 
Cholan Kayan means it's a one point game. Eight. Reflexes. Oh, beautiful. A bit of magic there from Cholan Kayan. Quick reflexes and then pushes the shuttle over Popov's racket. Completely got out of position. Toma Jr. Popov and the score as a result is 6 all. So Kayan not shying away from the challenge. every step of the way. Service over seven. So the oh. error earlier at the net from Popov and now Kayan two. Struggles to get it over. 7 0. It's a little bit cooler today. It's been raining in Suzhou for the day. And the arena definitely feels cooler, which is very different conditions from yesterday. Playing a part. Players do have to adjust to the conditions on a daily basis. Sometimes the aircons, air conditioning is really high and windy. Sometimes not so much. But I can certainly feel the cold air more today than yesterday. Could rally again. Good defense. Solid defensively, Kayan, the last two games. Oh, it's landed in. Right on the line. That's confident play. Popov has challenged it. Has been called in. Oh, good challenge. It is indeed out. Direction out. So a successful challenge gives him a two point lead. Thomas Jr. Popov. Nine, seven. Really 
really nice so. net shot on that occasion from the Frenchman. So look at how tight it is. That is racket under the net practically. Three point lead. And Popov has won three in a row. Make that four in a row. Let's see. Ah, oh, he does it. Popov takes the lead at the break, 11-7. Was the smash from the back court that found him the winner. Four points ahead. 14 minutes played in this third game. Changing ends in the third game at the break. And, uh, it's Toma Junior Popov who has a four point advantage, having won five in a row. He's given himself a nice little cushion. Restart the third game. Eight. Yep. Straight for Popov's body there, Kayan. That's a good rally. Just wide. Try to go behind Popov on that point. Miss the lines. Four point lead. Restored. Well, wait. The next few points, I think, will be extremely crucial. Especially for Kayan to try and mount a challenge here. We know he can do it. We saw him do it in the second game. Oh, it's wide. Lost control of that shot. Pop off. Frustration is evident. Trailing by three still. Oh, beautiful. The lightest of touches. 
And Kayan on the floor as a result, trying to make the shuttle. Just gently got it over. There's no way to cover that kind of ground. Cholan Kayan. 13-9. Too casual with that shot. Pop off. It's been not the most consistent of performances from the Frenchman. He's struggled with his shot making at times. Um, Cholan Kayan showing just how dangerous. He can be loose shot coming his way, and he puts it away with ease. Look at that big jump smash from the 20 year old. Two point game. Defense, wow, what a shot! That will look like it was going out again. Fantastic save. What is this rally? Wow. Super point from Cholan Kayan. That has got to be the point of the match so far. Fantastic save. Quick reflexes. Kayan really on high alert there. Makes it a one point game. really been impressive these last game and a half it's found another level 12 13 chance here to level yeah, not if pop up can help it 14 he knows Fox. it's getting too close for comfort. Fourteen twelve. It's two points separating these players. any opportunity in this last two points very quick with his shots that smash that's the kind of shot he can make and that's where he's super dangerous and earns the applause from his coaches that's what we were waiting for all this while. We know he's a big hitter. Four point gap. Long and 
motion with Hokayan. He did well to prolong it for as long as possible, hoping for an error or a lapse of concentration. It wasn't to be. Four points in a row for Popov. He's challenged it. 13, 17. Really long. Oh, that wasn't a challenge. I thought he indicated to challenge it, but it was to wipe down. for some time, Kayan. Eventually 18, 13. forced to lift. That's gone long. 18-13. Popov now three away from a victory. Looking to put France ahead by two. Kayan still 14. At it, still going strong. He knows he can push his much higher ranked opponent because he did it successfully in the second game. where he's most effective. 19-14 now. Two away from securing victory is Toma Junior Popov. Unstoppable. 15 19. It's now or never for him Above. to make up some ground. Made it look effortless on that occasion. Sets up five game po match point opportunities. He's challenged it. It's pulled out. Certainly taken a lot out of him this match. Yeah, that's the right decision. It is out. Challenge unsuccessful. Unsuccessful challenge. challenge. He still has a challenge remaining. And four match points along with it. 20. 
complete. Right on the line. Lovely return. Pushes the shuttle over. Two match points saved. Yeah. I does it. Smash after smash after smash in. Toma Jr. pop up secures the win. Takes out the English challenge. Next one by France, 21, 13, 14, 15, Pure attacking 15, form. 17. The win is his 21, 13, 14, 21, 21, 17 in 69 minutes. Toma Junior Popov puts France ahead. 2 nothing after some hard yards. See the players walk off court. <laughs> he is relieved. Now he breaks a smile. As he gets cheered off court by his teammates. We turn our attention to the women's singles and Chi Fei will take on Freya Redfern in the third match of this tie. Well, the classical gardens of Sujo are a must visit if you ever come this side of the world. They are ancient gardens that have been characteristic of the city for thousands of years. But right now, we're going to move away from the gardens of Sujo to the badminton courts as we Look ahead to the women's singles match that's coming up on court two between France and England. France now two zip ahead after wins in the mixed double and the men's singles. And a chance now for France's Chi Fei to seal victory for her nation. She takes on the young Freya Redfern. It's a battle of youth versus experience, this one. Let's see the players take to the courts. 
to the first ever meeting between these two women, 31-year-old Chi Shu Fei. Against 22-year-old Freya Redfin. There we go. Let's so see the coin toss. It's red. Fort. Coin toss, and she's picked the far end of the court. She, after winning it, for Redfern opting to serve. This will begin their two point warm up. Twenty-two year old from London, England, ranked two hundred and twenty-nine in the world at the moment. She's gone up to a hundred and one. That was in November of twenty twenty-two. The win loss record of two to four this season. It's played in two tournaments in the International Challenger Circuit this year. Best performance was the quarterfinal exit at the Dutch International. Chi Fei, 31 years of age from uh, France, but she was born in Nanjing, China. Now a French citizen, playing for the European nation. It's ranked 46 in the world, gone up as high as 37. In March of 2020 was when she reached that ranking. Has a win-loss record of four to five and things have not really gone her way this season she's got not got past the second round on the world tour as we see the english coaching setup and Rivas, of, who's normally carolina marin's coach but is consulting with france at the moment and she's had one runner-up finish on the World Tour, Chi Shuafei, and that was in 2018 at the Dutch Open when she lost to Mia Blickfeldt in two games. She's got six Challenger Series titles. The last one has Ready to play. not come in a while, back in 2019. Her opponent's last title, Freya Redfern, was on the junior circuit back in 2018. So, both these women looking to do something for their teams here. There's the umpire of the match, Bert van Hornbeek of Belgium, and he's joined in the service judges' chair by Lao Chun Lia of Malaysia. Those are the officials for this women's singles matchup. Chance here for France to seal victory. Save their blushes. The last match for their group stage campaign and their first ever main draw at the Sudirman Cup finals. Yeah, Redfern, on the other hand, has to try and keep England's hopes alive. Ready to Ladies and gentlemen, start to my this right, match. England, represented by Freya Redfern. And on my left, France, represented by Chi Chu Fei. France to serve. Lovell. Late. So Chi Shu Fei will serve to get this match going. Away, makes her intent known. One low. Serves over. 
Also getting on the scoreboard. Playing with the drift, Redford. Out. Wow. Can you believe it? That's back-to-back oh. -back service errors. That time. Three, two. Landed on the line. For the lower serve this time, Redfin. She'll certainly take confidence from zero, zero, her five. teammates' performance in the last match, Olang Kayan, who is also ranked in the 200s, but took the match to Toma Junior Popov. I hope to not only repeat that feat, but come out as winner. skills shown by the French player. That's just landed out. England uh, challenges, challenges out. straight away. She believes it's online. She's right. Correction. It is on the line. Serves over. It was the right decision to challenge Four, by Redfern. Gives her the lead. For all. She's just got to be careful about the errors, though. Red Fed can't give away too many points. She wants to make a challenge of it against her higher ranked opponent. That's a nice shot. A lovely angle Serves on it. Fair red fin. Five, four. Also plays women's doubles, incidentally. The 22-year-old. She tries to develop her game. Serves her front. Five, oh. Just looking at her performances. Her red fan has yet to notch up a win in the tournament. And she tries to six five. Fill the void in the women's singles discipline for England. England, of course, nation who've always been strong in the doubles. Stars, especially of recent times. Zero, zero, Yusuf was the last oh. 
major medal winner for England. Six all. from Red Fen, but in the end, cheese persistence pays six. off. Seven six. A oh, little bit lucky, but seven. Oh. fabulously played. She got the tape, but made sure there was enough height to go across the net. It's landed out. Eight, seven. Redford holding on to her lead. Breaks out Nine, seven. from Freya Redfern as she makes the net shot and forces the error of her opponent. Two point lead now. Serves over. Eight, nine. There's enough experience in Chishua Fay not to get. Deterred. Take her time. It's only a one point game so far. Nine. Oh. Just like that. It's level scores. Nine all. Uh, the flatter return working in Chi's favor. That's gone long. It's called out. Interval. And Chi Fei takes the crucial lead at the break. 11 9. She's won four points in a row and turned this around in her favor. Look at that save. Sets up the winner. Nine minutes played. to Chishua Fei, who's on a four-point winning run. Make that five. Twelve, nine. And she's 
Turn things around here. In impressive fashion. For a very close start. Slower start, I'd say, to this first game. She's slowly starting to dominate the exchanges. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice little net roll. Nine. Exactly how she wanted it. That's gone long. And that means it's 14, seven points nine. on the trot. Tisha Fay, she was seven nine down. And has won seven in a row since then. Oh. That's a brilliant smash. Excellent hit. Fifteen nine. It's behind the shuttle. Flat out. Hits it with all her might. Zero, zero, Just one. long. Ten, and it 50. ends a run of eight points for Chishwa Fei, much to her opponent's relief. <laughs> nice little save. But Chishwa Fei was 16, on top of it yep. and round the back with that save. Make the long run to the far, very near corner of the court. Sixteen ten. Sixteen. She's trying to figure out. Talking to herself. Ah! Oh, lovely. Right on the line. Service over. Seventeen. Eleven. Nice little dink. Drops just in front of her. Opponent seventeen eleven. Looks like it was going out. Eighteen eleven. She paid, she played it back when it just looked like it was going out on the forehand and gave she the chance to come right back into it. I made no mistake at the end. Not enough on it. For a red fan. Makes the error with that net shot. She did well to get there. And Chishua Fei is now seven ahead. That's 
from wide. So nine 20, game point opportunities point here for the French player. Well, to control that, takes the first game 21 11. Chishua Fay, she was first pushed back, by France, 21, still 11. got there with the round the head shot. 21 11 in the first game, she's taken the lead after 16 minutes played. Seconds, four, two, twenty seconds. Second game, second game, Lovell about to start after the late. change of ends. She should fail in the end, taking the first fairly straightforward. 21-11. She went on an amazing run. Hey. Winning 14 of the last 16 points in the first game. And that was how she sealed victory in the first now taking the lead in the second and it's a really high serve and sometimes a bit tricky to return with the light Two, in your eye So that's a Three, no. couple of errors of the red fern racket. That's a nice play. She's moved her opponent around Four, so well no. on that point. Chishua Fei. So look at that, dragging her forward and then creating the space to push the shuttle back. Red Redfern having to give chase. Oh, that's class. Five, this no. is a super start. Machish Rafe, five love. And she's played some impeccable shots in the process. A drop shot there.
lucky. Serve, serve, very, very lucky. Gets the tape and rolls one, over. Five. five one. She's finally on the scoreboard. Over. Straight Six, away one. on the return. The red fan has to find ways to get past her opponent. Seems to be struggling right now. At the start of the second. Landed in, France called challenges in. Called in. And, uh, she shall challenges straight away. Six one up. <laughs> Correction. How close. Up. But it is out. <laughs> Seven one. A good challenge. Oh, she's got very sharp eyes. Seven one. Ready? Eight, one. remained unfazed throughout yeah, Redford trying to move her around but she was on top of that point eight one up that's one long zero, zero, five. Two, eight. Ah, lovely. Again, going for the slower drop. Nine, Catches two. her opponent out of position. Nine, two up. Things going as per plan. Unlucky there. Service over. She also slipped on that occasion. Three, nine. Makes it look easy on that time. Ten, Cross court backhand smash. Ten three. Hold in, and so 11 3 at the break. Chi Shui with a much more assured performance in this second game is just half a game away from giving France the win now. 25 minutes played, 11 3 up. Late. Mm -hmm. 
ready to re restart game two. Chi Shuofei 11 3 up. It's been smooth sailing in the second game for the 31 year old. It's gone wide for a red fan, really has to find over. some of those sparks Eleven. that she showed in the first game. She was moving her opponent around a lot better. Finding the spaces on the court. Service over. Well, four. Error. Gone wide. This clever play from the 22 year old. She pushed the shuttle to the far corner. <laughs> Again, giving the point away quite easily. That's a new draw. Six, thirteen. Completely missed that. Miss hit that, I should say. Six, thirteen. Seven point gap. Well, this is a good little Seven, spell 13. for Freya Redfern. Not, while she's not strung points together, she certainly created problems for she. Serves over. 14-7 now. She's with still pushing ahead. Many hiccups along the way, but well in control. Inconsistencies in her Eight, shots at the moment. 14. We saw that the start of the first game where she had similar moments. And she really turned it on in the second half. That's wide. Did well to leave it. 15-8. Slowly edging closer to the finish line is Chi Fei. Nicely placed. Six then eight. Chooses the front of the court. With the drop shot. That's from the higher. Eight. Shots the clears to a flatter forehand. Aim straight at Red Fen. Four points away now from victory. Oh. Yeah, down the line. 18 8. Don't have to put too much power behind him, more about placement and angles. Ten point lead. Four points in a row.
good shot. Serves over. With the steepness. Nine eighty. On that forehand. Also aimed it on the tram lines. gone long and uh, well the writing seems to be on the wall for England and Freya Redfin she should have now only two away from victory Nicely played. Went across Ten. cheese Nine body feet. with the setup shot there on the backhand, and then she was out of step, not ready for the shot that followed. 1910. It's gone long. 11-19. Just got to keep a focus here, Chishwa Fay. Ah, a more attacking flatter forehand means match it's nine 11. match point opportunities for Chi. Can't you do it on the first time? Moving her opponent around Three. really well. And on the net shot, she secures victory 21 11, 21 11. In just over half an hour, Chi Shui Fei wins the women's singles match, but match with, uh, but with France. it also 21 11, 21 11. gives France victory. They will play all five matches, but France have sealed the win. Lovely little net shot. Confirmation of the scores there. 21-11, 21-11 in 33 minutes. 34. Chishua Fei hands France victory. So coming up next, it's the men's doubles. And top 20 pair, Ben Lane and Sean Wendy go up against Lucas Corvey and Ronan Labar hoping to put an end to the sweep.
welcome back to the live coverage of the Total Energies BWF Sudaman Cup Finals 2023 here on Court 2. It's the Group D clash between France and England with three matches done. We're into the fourth match, which is the men's doubles. Lucas Corvé and Ronan Labar up against Ben Lane and Sean Bendy, knowing that France have already sealed the tie with a 3 nil victory. They've won the first three matches and a chance here for England and Lane and Bendy to make sure that it's not a clean sweep by France. Uh, after all, the world number 16 pair, Lane and Bendy, and, uh, will be looking to get another win here at the Sudaman Cup Finals. And Sujo, they did secure a win against Korea. And, uh, Lucas Corby and Ronan Laba will certainly have the work cut out for them. This side. This side, and you choose. So, Only seven. You serve. Two. So, Lane and Mendy choosing sides. Corve and Labar opting to serve. Lane and Mendy coming off a big win against Korea in the men's doubles. Even though England lost the tie, Lane and Mendy's victory in three ensured they won a game, won a match at least. Ronan Laban, now 34 years of age, 191 centimeters tall, ranked 32 in the world with Lucas Corvé, which is their highest ranking they've enjoyed since May this year. He is Lucas Corvé, 29 years of age, also a tall player, 190 centimeters. Had a win-loss record of 6-7 to seven in partnered since 2021 in the men's doubles. Yet to get a senior title together. Compared to that, Ben Lane, 25 years of age from Kingston, England, is ranked 17th in the world. Highest ranking has been 13 with partner Sean Bendy. That was back in September of 2022. Left-hander, this is one of the left-hand, right-hand combinations in men's doubles. Sean Vendy is 26, a year older, from Kirkwall, Scotland. And they have a win-loss record of 6-6. Six six. Best performance of the season was reaching the semi-finals of the Swiss Open. They lost to China's Run and Tan in two games. They've got one BWF World, HSBC BWF World Tour title. 10 International Challenger Series titles. They have the silver medalist from last year's Commonwealth Games in the men's doubles and won the bronze as well in the mixed double in the men's doubles mixed team tournament. Ben Lane and Sean Wendy. Compare that with their opponents who helped France to that mixed team championship silver in Europe. Also won the European Men's Teams Championship with France silver in 2016 and bronze in 2018. Labra Labar played in 2020 as well. And got bronze in the Men's Teams Championship and in 2021 got silver in the Mixed Teams Championship. The umpire for this match is Kang Sun Yong of Korea. And she's joined in the service judges chair by Botswana's Emmanuel Gabot Sile. So we get ready to start the match in the men's doubles. Certainly be pressure more on the English pair to deliver. They are the higher ranked. They have the better records, and titles. On my right. The England. first meeting between the two. By ben Lane and Sean Bendy. Lava. Lava, Sean 
Mendes. Mm, and Labar will Lava. serve to get this Play. men's double match on the way. It's nice. Right on the outside One line. Lock. Coming up forward Silver. to kill the point off. Ronan Labar, who also plays mixed doubles. And his partner Lucas Corvey plays men's singles for France. from Corvey. Oh. One wide. Oh, the pressure from the French. Two, one. We want to help give the nation the clean sweep against rivals England. And a win against a top 20 player will certainly feel sweeter. Ended out on that occasion. Hi. Three, two. Straight away, Wendy. Mimics the gesture. Again, off the English rackets gives France a two point lead. Make that three. Smashes Let's both from Wendy and Lane. Three, five. Back to back, look at that huge jump. And although Labar does well to save it, Corvé just nowhere near the winner. Two can come all guns blazing. Look at that smash. Even though they defended well in the first time, it's too steep on the second to play back. Changes. Hey. Oh. Seven, 
Fall. And they're trying to keep it into the first couple of shots. Lynn and Mendy. Also causes the error. That's gone long as well. Close down their opponents is proving harder than they expected. Rackets. Oh. Yep. Just oh, too so slow to react on that occasion, Nine, Ben Lane. Five. Such tall players, these two Frenchmen. They reach great wingspan so they can make or easily reach the shuttle. Nine. And we'll give it away with the error. Oh. Oh, it was hard hitting by Luca Kobe. Ten six. Hard to get past them with their lifts. It just closes it down. 10 6. Serve is 4 4. On the French serve that time, too high. So we've seen the English do it once, and now Roland Labar of France also. So quick with their reactions, Corvey and the bar. We take it 11 7 at the mid game break. Look at that. He intercepted that really early, straight at Vendy's body. And a four point lead at the mid game break for France. Ready to resume the first game. 11 7 up are France. As Corvée will serve. that it was probably landing in and uh, last minute decision there to play it back Change. 
12-8. Great return. Three points ahead still. Well left. Ten, two, twelve. Luca, 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 Kobe, come here. Do not come, come to your post. Luca, Kobe being warned. And not talking to his coaching staff for too long. Tony yeah. Labar going for the slower drop there. John Wendy showing that he too can create those steep smashes. Oh, mistake from Labar means it's a one point game, and Lane and Wendy have surely started to turn things around here. There were four, there were seven, 11 down at the break. And they have made up ground quite quickly since. That's wide. It's a little bit cheaply given away by Sean Wendy. Change of shuttle. Some snowball. Thirteen. Fourteen. I think <laughs> they were looking at the line judge just to make sure. Latter forehand. Ben Lane. 14 all. They're in level scores now. Exploiting the space on the far court. Luca Kove. Really nicely played. Forcing Vendi to go across his body. Fifteen all. Fifteen all. Turn. And it's a really good showing by the lower ranked French pairing, 31 in the world, but right now oh. matching Some Lynn and Wendy toe to toe, 16 all. Given great confidence with 
the previous three wins that have come for France in the last three matches. Look at that. Again, using the space on the far corners of the court so well. Swoon and Labar. Forcing Wendy to try and go on the backhand. Still a point ahead. Seventeen sixteen. Hey, uh, super attack. Great work by both Corvey and Labar. Round the head with the winner. Two point lead. Yeah. Such so well. 17. Just not being able to 18. get it across the net because there was all that space there while we was trying to find the front court hey! oh. again really nicely played by the French duo just Flat exchanges really quick as well. They have shown Rona, get ready. to be the more alert of the two pairs at the moment. The shuttles can be hard and fast on both ends. <laughs> Not with that. Let me take it back. 18, 19. One point game. Very little separating the two. 18 19. Oh, he's on the floor. Ah. Oh. Nicely played. 19. Slimmest of gaps that they exploited there. Labar on the floor still managed to play it back. Yeah. Thank you. Took Corvey by surprise almost. 19 all. Luca. Luca. Luca warned to. Keep coming back Luca, to the court. He's still getting wiped. 19 all. Who will draw first blood? Landed in. Misjudgment from the English means it's Corvey and Labar who have game point. Smiles from Ronan Labar. Can they convert this solitary opportunity?
Oh, it's landed in. Beautifully hit. It was an intense rally. First game won by France. There was no so let up from United. either side, but what a delightful shot to secure the winner with. And Kove and Labar take the first game. They edge their opponents 21 19 after 20 minutes. France take the advantage. What, um, how will you show uh, our number three? When we serve show and then go to the back there, how will you show that? I think one of the times you, you can go around them. Yeah. When they are like pushing. But so we need to be ready yeah. with our trip. Yeah. Actually, Sean played one over you as in number three over you. Maybe you can play that yeah. one too. Yeah. But it has to be hard over, not slow. Offense yeah. over, okay. And if not, then go through the mid and then you cover side by side. And if they play in front of you, then you rush to the net and challenge them. Yeah. Okay. Still, when you attack here in our backhand side, straight, you get variation when you go hard for it. We just need to wake up a little bit. We just sort of, we just sort of, a little bit waiting, waiting. What's happening there? This is French. Come on, come on, look up the ante. Yeah, let's get them really working and just take the lead. Yeah, they'll make them play another shot. All right? One more thing, when they're in and around the head, they look to cut out, and what they do is they, they cut it, and the next one they go cross. So this person then's got to be really ready. So they've got to be really ready in this position. Yeah, all right? Lose the fucking shot. Change of ends second for game. the pairs and uh, we're about to start the second game with Labar serving. They've taken the first 21-19. Chance to close it out in two if they take the second. That's well, a nice return from Vendi. Misjudgment from Corvey. He was thinking about it. You could see. It's too lovely for Lynn and Wendy. Tensions clear, they're not going away, they're here to stay. It's a much better drop shot. Great to the Four. service judges' chair, and that worked out for them because they wanted the trottle changed, anyways. <laughs> Fight back from France after trailing 3 1. Four 
juego. Just wide. Oh no, it's on the line. Five, four. Apologies. Just nicked the line. There are five all. All out attack. Corvey and Labau every time they get a chance. Lean and Wendy have to be careful as soon as the rally extends more than two or three shots. Oh! Like that. Six, five. Take the lead. Ask to play on. Having trailed for the start of this game, to take the lead for the first time. Kovey and Laba. That's a good return. And they almost seem dependent on these big, fast returns, Lane and Wendy, because on the longer rallies, Kovey and Laba do get the better of them on a lot of occasions. Oh, what was that return? <laughs> that time. Couldn't get it across the net. Seven, six, Luca Kove. <laughs> Tense affair. <laughs> Straight at him. Corvey decided to go for lane on that occasion. Steeper smash on the feet of lane. 7 0. So Lynn and Wendy just about staying ahead in this second game. It's a must win for them. Unlike the first where they were trailing for a large part of that game. They've decided to take the lead here and try and hold on to it. And let it go. Just miss, just let it go, in fact. Ronan Labar. Quick decision, but a good decision on his part. Just got out of the way. Luca. Luca, get ready, Kiko. Luca Carvey, again, being told to get ready quicker. Just looking at the last match that they played against Korea, Choi Sol Yu and Na Sung Seung. 
Lane and Wendy dropped the first game 2022 and then came back to win 21 12 21 13 and this one too has gone really close in the first and they dropped it can they make a similar comeback right now it's Corvey and Labar leading by a single point And they take that lead at the break, 11-9. It has been very, very close between these two pairs. You'd have to say France have the edge, just have the edge, taking the first game and now leading midway through the second. Back and forth to restart game two. Two point gap separating these men's doubles pair. And uh, at the moment, I definitely say that Kovey and Labar are punching above their weight. They are getting the better of the higher ranked Lane and Vendi. Better attack right on the backhand of Labar. Having a word with Ronan Laban now to get ready quick. I avoid time wasting. Ah! Oh, he overhit it completely. Sean Wendy. He put all his might behind it and almost got too much on it and. Corvey and Labar knew instantly. 12 10. That's well placed. I mean, that's fantastic vision by the French duo. Corvey going between the two. English players and finding the corner. How good was that? And they're on fire at the moment. 14, 10. Quick four point lead now. Six of the last seven points have gone the French way. Oh, how quick is that? They're still at it. Clash of rackets. Did they break it? Eleven. No, nope. just clashed. Both eager to put the shuttle back and make the mistake look at Sean Wendy he is intent on making up some ground here 11 14 oh. Oh, sir. Oh. really flat exchange oh. from Wendy Went to plan. Oh, you see how low lane stayed. 
just crouching down, allowing Wendy to go extremely close to the net with his shots. Well left again. Three ahead. Court. Front court, I should say. Ben Lane. And it's gone wide. That's a good return. Yeah. The pressure from the English was extreme but steeper and steeper with the shots and <laughs> Ronan Labar left helpless on that occasion you know they've got to make the moves now Lane and Wendy they're running out of points running out of time 13 16 down Next few points will be crucial. Sean Dan talking to the umpire. Maybe about them getting ready faster. It's a good serve. Completely caught the French by surprise. Clash of rackets, that time from the English side. Just look at the level of alertness. Ben Lane and his urgency to close out the point, and find the outside lines, makes the error. Seventeen fourteen. Three points behind are the world 20. top twenty pair of Lane and Wendy. And they're a game down as well, remember. Seventeen fourteen. Play. Gone long. 18, and the 14. French are slowly turning the screw. Three points away from a massive victory here. Taking no prisoners. 15, 18. Straight on the backhand of Corvey. Clash of rackets again. Too close to each other, maybe. Ah, uh, 
Corvée and Labar, but it doesn't matter. They found success at the cost of Lane and Wendy's errors. 15 to 19, four point gap. Make that 16, three points. 19. It's always been very, very close between these two throughout this match. Play. Even got to level scores at 19 all in the first game. It's landed in. Misjudgment from the French. And this could be a crucial time. Final charge from Lane and Wendy. Quick one two from Corvier and Labar sets up three match point opportunities. Can they do it on the first run? Where the net is relentless. <laughs> Brilliant defending, but speaking of relentless, Lane and Wendy just kept at it. Even though everything was coming back at them. 31 shots, longest rally of the match so far. to play it. Oh, that's landed in. Beautiful backhand 19, from Ben Lane. And he 20. saved two match points. One more to go. He's not going to get it changed. England want the shuttle. France won the change, but... The Empire has allowed to keep it. Lucky shuttle. It's saved two match points so far. Ah, they do it on the third time. They take the win. Sean Vendy's smash going straight into the net. And Covey and Labar have secured the straight game win. 21-19, 21-19 in a closely fought contest. And what was the first meeting French between these two pairs? And it's the French who have come out on top. They give the team the 4-0 lead with that victory. 43 minutes all in all. And Kobe and the bar secure victory for France. Yes. Walk out of court. So we're down to the final match off the tie and that's the women's doubles margot lambert and Anne tron going up against chloe birch and lauren smith that's what's coming up
we are down to the final match here on court two the women's doubles encounter between france and england france have uh, had success in all four matches so far only one going the distance and that was the men's singles the rest have all been straight game wins and uh, this is England's last chance to try and salvage something in this tie. And the women's doubles, Margot Lambert and Tran will take on Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith. Lauren Smith, of course, who played the mixed doubles in the first match with Marcus Ellis and lost out to Tom Jekyll and Delphine Del Rue looking to make amends in the second outing as we see the players get onto court there is history between these two pairs this will be their fourth meeting with birch and smith leading the head-to-head -head two to one the last meeting was at the spain masters Earlier this year in the round of 16, and Burton Smith won that 13 21, 21 12, 21 18. Before that, they met last year at the Welsh International Championships final, and Lambert and Tran won that match 9 21, 21 14, 21 9. The first time they ever met was in 2021 at the French Open. In the third round, and England won in straight games 21 16, 21 12. But if the past few hours have shown us anything, and that is that the form guide means nothing. Margot Lambert, 24 years of age, ranked 28th in the world with her partner Antoine. They've gone up to as high as 26. That was in April this year. And there she is, Antoine, 27 years of age. And uh, she too has gone up the rankings but with her former partner Emily LaFell up to 18 in the world. They have a win loss of 5 to 9 this year and uh, haven't really gotten past the second round in any of the events they've played. The French duo still in search for their first world tour title. Chloe Birch on the other hand is 27 years of age from Preston England. She's ranked 27th in the world right now with partner Lauren Smith but they've reached the heights of number 12 in the world before back in January of 2022 Lauren Smith there from Carlisle England now 31 years of age one of the veteran players in the English squad these two have a win loss of 10 to 9 this year they have three quarter-final finishes in 2023 at the Swiss Open, the Spain Masters and the Orleans Masters. One HSBC BWF World Tour title to their names. And seven International Challenger Series titles, as opposed to Lambert and Trans three. And I can tell you that uh, these two also won silver at last year's Commonwealth Games. Lauren Smith and Chloe Birch. Well as bronze in the mixed team championships, much like Lynn and Wendy before them. 2021 European Championships silver medal in the women's doubles. Lost to the Stoevas in the final in straight games. 2019 European Games silver medal in women's doubles as well. And Tran has uh, also won the European Championship silver, but that was in uh, with her other partner, Emily Lafell. That was in 2018. She won the European Game bronze the same year in 2019 with Lafell as well. So, still a relatively new partnership. This is one between Lambert and Tran, whereas Bert and Smith they well settled pairing as we see them get ready for the final match on this court i can tell you that birch and smith did play against japan in the first outing for england and pushed the two-time world champions mayu matsumoto and wakana nagahara to three games 
Matsumoto Nagahara coming through 21 17, 13 21, 21 11 in the end. But that is a quality of Birch and Smith. They did not play against Korea. Whereas Lambert and Tran have played against Japan and lost to Matsuyama right. and Shida England. in straight games. They also the played against Korea and Bush lost to Kim and Hong in straight games. And on my left, France, represented by Vago Lambert and N. Tran. France to serve, Vago Lambert to so Margot Lambert will Local serve to get this play. match underway. One love. Choosing to go with the flick serve to begin with. But Chloe Birch scrambling for it. That's gone wide as well. Got to wonder now about Lauren Smith's recovery from that mixed doubles match and whether it's been enough time to get her ready for this. Chloe Birch will certainly be doing more than her fair share to try and make sure that three love doesn't take too much out of Smith. Lambert and Tran run up three love. Bear. Nicely struck by Lambert to go as close to the net as possible. Lauren Smith unable to play it back. Again, this is what I mean about the focus. She's just got to be careful not to let this get too away, far away from her. Gone long. Just trying to intercept the shots Six early, lock. and it's not working out for her at the moment. Lauren Smith. <laughs> that time, though. So it's over. It was One exactly where she wanted Six. it. On the feet of. At the feet of Antron. And England are on the scoreboard. Again on the front Seven, court, just finding one. the space with a slower shot, flatter shot as well. Guiding the shot over. <laughs> She's happy with that. And run. Went for the drop. Margot Lambert. Yep, she just pushed the shuttle over. 8 1. Nine, the arrows are coming way one. too 
often off Lauren Smith's racket at the moment. best start not the ideal start for England but it is for France for now. So it's over. she went for the flick serve Nine. and run that's gone long as well it's two quick points for England Try and mount a challenge from here. Again, the nicer, slower drop doing the damage. The lightest of touches from Lambert. Ten three up. Sorry. Apologizes for that. Lauren Smith. Four. It's going straight Ten. at her. That there's only one Seven, ranking point separating Seven, these two four, pairs. Interval. It's going to be a close contest. It's expected to be one for sure. Two of the three past matches going the distance, and now Lambert and Tran have taken the lead at 11 4. Seven minutes played. Black on court uh, Margot. Margot. Birch and Smith Margot. as well as Lambert and Tran. And, and Tran Eleven, will serve. Four. Play. Super, super smash. Kills it off effortlessly and run. Hit the foot of Lauren Smith. And they've just continued to control these points. I think about the fact that Lauren Smith has played three mixed Five. doubles and this is her second women's doubles match in the last four days it's a fair bit of badminton and at some point i'd imagine it could catch up it's on the floor she's hitting it from the floor chloe badge that is Six. Unusual, but did the job on that occasion. Yeah, she hit it pretty much lying down and then got back on her feet just in case. So, 6 12, Burton Smith Trail. 
won two in a row. Put together Virgin Smith after the break. Eleven four. and Smith who come out on top all pairs do their best to keep the rally going Virgin Smith turned the defense into attack very quickly finding the winner 37 shots that rally and they've now won Three points on the trot. Four points. That's landed in. Lovely shot. Just curved inwards. 14 8. Given the French a little bit of a reprieve. Just out. So they're so taking their chances with nine, the 13. long shots, trying to go behind Burge and Smith. And on that occasion, it didn't quite go their way. And had much success at the net in recent points. And that's gone long as well. So just about staying ahead, uh, Lambert and Tran. Five points is a decent cushion. Played by Lauren Smith of the net, who's struggling in the first half of this game to get those shots across. It's a good turnaround. You see that she's found some confidence back. Ten fifteen. Again, strong net play by the English. Good serve. Keeping it low, keeping it tight. Hey! And that's why the French are having to go oh, behind their opponents because the exchanges at the net have now turned in England's favor. 12-15. They've gone with three in a row. Flatter backhand doing the trick. 16 and Lambert 12. and Tran. 
on the move with that backhand. 16-12. Both went for that shot. And she hit it well Seven wide in the one. end. 13, 16. There. One with the forehand, one with the backhand. It was nowhere near where they wanted it to land. Service four called. Too high. Too high. Service over. Seventeen. Restores 13. a four-point lead for the French. Now just four away from taking this first game, which will certainly deal a deadly blow to England's hopes. Shot to retrieve for Birch. A lovely shot. Nineteen. Again, Antron finding success with the flatter hits. That time going round the head with the forehand. Look at that. 19 13. That's gone wide. Sets up multiple game points 20, for Lambert and Tron. Point 13. Just couldn't keep that within the court, Lauren Smith. That's gone long Good. as well. And so on a couple of errors, it's Lambert and Tran who first seal game, the first game 21-13 and give France a very good chance of a clean sweep here against their European rivals, England. And, uh, 17 minutes have gone in this match. Confirmed that Lambert and Tran lead 21 13. We got back to that 13 16 by making moves, being proactive, yeah. playing the mid court, playing the probes and the pushes. Well, yeah. Yeah. okay, all right, yeah. All right, it's important enough for you now to, to keep the discipline, be efficient in what you're doing. Yeah. Not, not really. The only thing I'd say for the back is just a bit more when you're in the run ahead. Yeah, it's a bit more slice. Yeah, so so to bring Lauren in, it's just coming off from this end. Yeah. And remember, if you do slice, yeah, especially Lambert, she wants to block, she's blocking straight away. So if Lauren goes for it, you've got to cover this way. If, if she comes off. Well, that's the last for the side But Lauren has uh, a tension on that now. So now we can have the flat even so she can make space. The soft defense again. You need to have her out, so she needs to cover the flat so we make space for the soft. I think like it's, it's a bit uh, when we are under pressure, she's moving a lot forward. Yes, she when is. at the beginning we do great lifts, she's yeah. not really taking the lift. But it's okay if you can get it away from the forward, then you know she's there so ready to do it. So a lot of thinking to do for Birch and Smith as they try to find a way back in what will be a must-win game to keep their hopes alive in this match. Second and, uh, 
and France have the lead now, having taken the first game 21-13. Smith kills it off. Service over. One love. Just look at the games that have gone to three. And uh, Birch and Smith came back from a game down at the Spain Masters to defeat players Lambert and Tron this year. So it is certainly something they can do they lost the first game in spain by the same score line 13 21 for lambert and tron when it went to three they also lost the first game so this is the first time they've led against Birch and smith hoping to create a win from Lock. here on. Two love. That's gone wide. Puts them on Seven the scoreboard. Solo. Lauren Smith who One. made a couple of unforced errors towards the end of the first game that handed France victory. Just needs to be careful not to give away too many cheap points in the second game. That's a good return. Steep smash. Birch tracking backwards. One. Birch's best efforts, it's getting to her. Attempt is Chloe Birch who oh. found the net, looking for the flat forehand. to create some momentum here led to quite a few errors at the start of the second Smash from the back court by Birch Five, attacking the backhand of Lambert. She succumbs. Three five or five three, I should say.
good rally. Neither giving up. That's gone wide. The persistent pressure from Birch and Smith. Six, three. Absolutely unrelenting the English pair and it rewards them with a three-point lead now 44 shots that one Big hit. She went all guns Seven, blazing there. Three. Lauren Smith. Right through the legs of Lambert. Four points in a row. For England. Hey! Oh, the flick serve. So it set the tone for that point. You can see that they're feeling the game a lot more now. Smallest of margins. Serve it so four eight. Find some composure here. Lambert and Tran. Who have gotten off to a flyer in this match, winning the first 21-13. We're gonna expect some pushback, of course. Wide. This is good pressure from France now. Five, eight. Another long rally. That leads to an error from England. It takes a fair bit of concentration to keep going in such long exchanges. Landed in on the line, impeccably placed. Service over nine four point five. lead restored. So Bertram Smith Five. now on top of those exchanges. Hands out. So 
much better response in the second game from the English pair. Hey! As the mid-game break sees England take a commanding lead, 11-5. They seem to have found their footing once more. Twelve minutes played in that second game. We are big for passing and, and when we have the attack, we attack when we are not in good balance. Sometimes still jump in, play the stuff up in front of them, where they think we'll play hard. If we play hard, expect speed back, especially if we are not in balance. When we are, when we attack Chloe, match with the attacker, Hold right here, yeah, two, right here. Seconds. Exactly. And Port to what is the difference in your seconds. attitude in first set and second set? I feel like I need it. Players okay, back why? on court. Because oh. Oh. And back on court, ready to restart the second game. Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith and to looking in much better shape now. 11-5 up. Five. Look to land a victory for England. On. Come here. Don't leave it. Lao Chun Lia, the umpire, having a word with Anne Tran about getting ready faster. Service over. Outside of the line. Eleven. Tried to lift to get herself out of trouble there, Batch. <laughs> On the line. Seven, eleven. Two quick points for France to close the gap. Make things interesting. She's got recovery from Birch. Again, fantastic skill from Chloe Birch. Oh, sh <laughs> she recovered really well there, Tran, again. This is quite the rally. Ah, she finds a winner. Superb shot. Injected the pace there. It was an intense rally requiring full concentration from all four players. And Anne Tran delivers the blow. 53 shots, longest rally off the mat so far. It closed the gap now for three points. Good return. So it's over. Really Four. low. Eight. Going downwards. Very hard to play back. Stops the three point run for France.
swinging back and forth the momentum in this second game. And Tran, who made some excellent shots at the restart, is now seeing a few errors creep into her racket. The England coaching team is happy. Another one on the forehand. 14, Six point lead eight. for England here. It's a real test for France now. Defending by England. Brilliant. They kept at it. They did not give up. Birch and Smith. First. With the backcourt attacks, and then Lauren Smith decided to take charge of the net. Kill off the points. Seven point lead. to have Eight. lost their shots again Lambert and Tran after the break they made some winners and now it's been error after error though England have piled on the pressure here so it's over 916 916 Lambert and Tran trailing by seven. So it's over. It's not going their way at the moment. Nine. Missed out on the lines quite a bit. In this second game, Lambert and Tran. That's good return. Seven, seven, ten, seven, but early quick, quick. and Tran. A quick wipe down for Chloe Badge. Cross court smash from Birch. So it's over. Eight. She's been ten. powerhouse at the back court. Chloe Birch. Pounding down the shots in the second game. Warren Smith has also shown much more assured play in the front court. It's gone wide. And the game is. Quickly slipping away from French hands. Two points away from pushing this to a decider. Uh, Birch and Smith. Game, game point, point opportunities. Ten. Another error of the French racket means Birch and Smith. Play. I have much
multiple chances here to push it to three and give England a real chance of getting a win in this match. Missed that drop. 11, 20. Birch. Still got nine game points. Hey! They do it on the second time of asking. As Antron drives the shuttle second into the game, net. Won by England, and Birch and Smith left. have taken one the second game 21 11 in a commanding performance in the second one. They've not really looked back since 3 all in this game. And we're going into a third here in the women's doubles match. It's one game apiece. You need to find back to the first attitude you had in the first game. If you feel you are in jail now, then we cannot develop. We have a development tournament here. So if I can't say two things without you going to jail, then we have a problem. So you need to change that attitude. Okay? And try to be positive. Did you too much no, no, actually, they raise the level and they put us a bit under pressure. Yeah. When we challenge them on the forecourt, they start to challenge us back. They not give us the lift for free. They want yeah. actually us to play the lift to them because they are quite confident in the offense right now. Okay? okay. Make sure, like you say, in the first part of the rally, we were just organized. He's going to work. Yeah, work. He's looking to work. First bit. And other than that, it's really good balancing that last bit there. Really good. So into a third we go. Final game. Birch and Smith came back Play. strong in that second game. 21-11, pushing for a third. According to past history, it could go either way. Birch and Smith, though, the most recent winners in this rivalry. Oh, that's good. Much more attacking from Antoine. Service over. One last move forward, made her way to the front court to kill the point off. Lauren Smith once more Service over. One more. controlling things from the net jumps ahead to take that kill shot one off So similar to how the first game, or the sorry, the second game was played when Birch and Smith had a plan. 
just at the net. Went for the flatter exchanges. Slowly but surely pushing Lambert and Tran back. And on the defensive. Two one. looking at the last time they met in the mixed team championships in in Europe back in 2021 it was hey! France Service who over. won that tie 3-1 Smith up by a solitary point. Serve it over. Three. All. Yes. Going back and forth at the moment. It's very early stages in this third game. Unexpectedly, no one has been able to. dominate yet Of rackets, <laughs> Lauren and Four. Chloe trying to get out of each other's way on that time. Lumber and Tran doing well to move them around. Such that was a clash of rackets, and then Lauren just trying to stay out of Chloe's way. Not that it helped. So 4-3, the French lead. I was looking at that uh, European Mixed Team Championships back in 2021 that France won 4-1 and it was in the women's singles that England got the win. Freya Redfin got the win for England. The question is, can the women's doubles help on this occasion? Again, big smash at the net. Slightest of jumps to get the height on that shot for all. Yeah. That's a nice shot. She went round the head so with the Five. forehand. Got some steepness on it. Margot Lambert. Flick of the wrist. One point lead. She let it go. <laughs> Just about got out of the way, Lambert. Six, four. Look at that. Just literally tried her awkward best to get out of the way. And it worked. Six, four. Serve it 
Tower, five, Warren Smith six. finding the smash at the midcourt, going between the two players. Looser lift. We've seen her do really well. Just power through Chloe Smith. Just look at the smash she generates. The power she generates on that smash. Six all. Good return. Talk about perfect placement. Seven six. Seven six. Very little separating the two pairs at the moment. Work at the back court. <laughs> they keep going from the back to the front. Eight, they started six. extremely well defensively in that rally and then just pounded down the shots. Two point lead. Yeah, she's happy with that. Asking for the court to be right. Players all stay on court. Stay on court. We've seen a few slips through the last few days. In court two. This is always concern for injury. Through this period, it's another nice smash from Antron. Back to back hard hitting shots that's Nine, got her the points. Six. Seven five. Nine, six. She's on the floor trying to make the shot, but that just tells you how Ten, six. excellent the drop shot was. Chloe Birch completely caught off guard. Thank you. Ten six. It's four points in a row for the French. It's gone wide. Service over. Good return. Seven ten.
play from England, good reaction, having dropped a few points early on. to close the gap. It's been a, um, almost an hour in this match. Still not closer to knowing who's going to come out on top. Again. That's terrific hitting. And Tran. She's really had to take charge. Moving from back to front and then going for the kill shot. A slower shot from Margot Lambert, setting things up beautifully as Franz stay ahead. 11 8 at the break. 15 minutes gone in this third game. If we are not in balance, then just play the stop up to the mid. Okay. And when we have the chance, then we can do a lot of straight or mid. But if we are not in balance, I'm just going to make the play to stop for us. Okay. When they play the return, where we have to put it, push to our backhand side. Yeah, it's okay. Like you do court but we will play over the pass. Okay, but if you take the through the mid, that's okay too. Okay, come on. Back on court. Three points ahead are Lambert and Fran, and I think eight. the coach was trying to tell them to play. get through the middle. In between spaces, as they call it. If not, go over. That's a flick serve. Lauren Smith was absolutely ready for that. 9 11. Down the middle. That's what the coach Seven wants. And and try and deliver it. Oh. Try to get the return on it. It's closer to Chloe Birch's forehand. 12-9. Pressure from the French. 13 9. Four point lead. As we enter some crucial moments in this decider. Good serve. 14. Slower nine. shot again in the middle as both players. From England, try to stretch forward. Good return. It's gone well long. The power of Lauren Smith shining through. 10 14. 14 10. Still a four point lead. 
edge closer to the finish line. out. They challenge it. Chloe Birch England, and Lawrence Med will challenge the call. Four. It's called out. And it is out. Challenge it's in fact well out. So the line judge was spot on. Service so over. 15, 15 10. 10. Play. France lead in the decider. to save it and she was succeeded in the first time but there was too much co Service ground to cover 11 15. Look at that. she went absolutely rushing for it made the shot but it only got up until lauren smith at the net Eleven fifteen. Four points Separating the two. Absolutely pounced on that one, Lawrence met. Leapt forward to make the shot. That's now a two point game. Opportunity there for Antoine 14, to try and put it away instead. It went long. And that's four points in a row for the English duo. Just one separating the two. Good recovery. Clash of rackets. Won it desperately. It's an intense rally. Oh, it's landed out. All that hard work comes undone with that final shot, but what immense pressure. France just keeping pace on that occasion. Sixteen fourteen. 4.1 comes to an end for England. It's 
gone wide. They're edging closer. 14. And the French team is uh, starting to find their voice. Sensing victory, maybe. Straight to 15, the net. 17. It was the shot from Chloe Birch as well. And super angle on it. Two point game. She was hitting it so hard. Just shot over. after shot after shot. 18, Kept getting 15. played back. Look at that. Third time. Found the net instead. Three points ahead. Three away from victory. Sixty-six minutes of play. <laughs> That's why to challenge it, France Margot Lambert raises her racket. Out. Looking to challenge. It's called out. by millimeters challenge the right call by the line me. judge service over 16 18 coach 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 <laughs> play the coach being told to quiet down by the umpire seen that happen too many times the French side that's doing the talking France as they see call in. the lead slowly wipe away two points separating them France has challenged the call it's been called in It's landed out, out. <laughs> to the French team's delight. It was the Seven right call four. to make. 19, and it's 19-16. Play. It's two away from victory. Play. Let's see there's something the French coach wanted to tell the players as they get the win. Slower shot. Oh, Margot Lambert makes the Seven error. Sower. Looking to push the shuttle over. 19. Seventeen, nineteen. Two point game.
change of pace, lands between the two lines, sets up three match point opportunities for Lambert and Tran. It's a lovely shot. She completely changed the pace with that last two shots. 2017. Good defending by the French. And that's gone now. English duo will battle 18, till the end. 20, it's not over till it's over. Two points separating. Okay. Two match points still for France. Yeah, she kills it off right in the middle. Antron secures the win on the second match point opportunity. 21 18 in the end. And uh, what a way to finish it for France. They complete the sweep in their final Group D clash. Van Tran celebrates with a delightful kill shot in the end. So after 72 minutes played, the scoreline reads 21-13, 11-21, 21-18 in favor of France. The players get ready to walk off court. Brings to an end the proceedings here on court two in group D. Yep, night sky in Sujo, gate of the Orient is one of the landmarks and uh, the result here on court two has gone all France's way, starting with Jiquel and Del Rue and a straight games win over Ellison Smith, followed by the men's singles that went the distance. Toma Junior Popov coming through 21-13, 14-21, 21-16, 17-17 over Kayan, and then Chi Shuafei delivered the winning result, 21-11, 21-11 over Freya Redfern. The men's doubles they gave us a surprise win for Lucas Corvey and Ronan Labar as they beat their higher ranked opponents, Ben Lane and Sean Vendy in straight games. And finally, in the women's doubles, Margot Lambert and Anne Tran came through in three nerve-wracking games to win and give France a 5-0 victory here in Group D in their final outing. Tomorrow, there's the last round of group stage matches. Here on court two, we'll see Germany lock horns with Canada in the morning session. And then in the evening, it's Singapore versus Egypt. That's what's coming up tomorrow. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage on day four. We look forward to having you with us again tomorrow. From me, Mo Shumidat, it's good night and goodbye.